But how are the people of Hemel coping? Well, the late edition sent our very own Andre Vincent to the heart of the inferno. For the biggest fire in Europe since the war, I'm freezing my bollocks off. The media have arrived in Hemel Hempstead in force. Reporters, cameras and cranes. But I'm here to do more to make news out of these poor people's misery. I want to somehow help this community. <laughs> We're trying to start Hemelaid. We're sort of looking at, you know, Vietnam and South Korea, places that we've given money for years. Yeah. They've now got to help Hemel Hempstead. Yeah, yeah. What about Hemelaid? Jessica, have you heard about this, that they're going to sort well, of like Hemelaid? I haven't heard of them. Do you, you know, no. do you think, well, it, it's going to start and hopefully we'll be getting money from sort of Sri Lanka and Vietnam, putting well, their hands in their pocket to maybe, help yeah. Hemel Hempstead? Yeah. Do you think it's needed? Yeah, could be, yeah. But my idea of Hemel Aid is falling on deaf ears. As you can see, the high street is deserted. So if you want a stress-free Christmas shop, get down here fast. Because the people of Hemel Hempstead seem to have hidden themselves away. As you can see, the leisure facilities of Hemel Hempstead are quite deserted. But in these fiery times, who wants to go to either Ignite or Lava? <laughs> but what are the media rumours of panic buying? As you can see now by one of the local petrol stations very close to the fire. What a queue. What, what a... Go on, girl, move the car. It's just big queue. It's scary. <laughs> Nothing out there at all. A large insurance van has arrived to help the people of the community, to give them advice if it's needed. <coughs> Ambulance chasers. <laughs> So, all in all, this is the closest I can get to the fire, which is a real shame, because... <laughs> it's an idea. Andre Vincent, who spent his week in Hemel Hempstead for us.